assalamu alaikum students uh, today we will perform the interfacing of keypad uh, and uh, while doing the interfacing of keypad we would like to display the data that is uh, being generated by the keypad on the lcd so this means we will be doing both we will be interfacing lcd uh, along with the keypad in order to display the data of the keypad on the LCD. Okay, so let's start uh, with the schematic first. Uh, let me uh, launch Proteus and make a new project. Uh, you can give it a name, for example, LCD underscore keypad and save it. Uh, in some folder for example this one okay so let's make a, a schematic in the proteus uh, so that we can program uh, the uh, program in arduino based on that schematic okay so let me find the keypad first which is our uh, today's uh, prime objective so this is a keypad uh, uh, which you uh, guys must have uh, seen uh, this is actually a calculator we can interface this uh, calculator uh, today uh, now obviously this calculator will require uh, a lot of uh, computation in the background uh, for example if two uh, if eight is pressed and then uh, we uh, uh, if we press multiply sign and then we multiply uh, then we press 9 then there has to be some computation in the background uh, in order to detect which uh, uh, operation we would which mathematical operation we would like to perform for example multiply minus divide uh, addition whatever okay now this is uh, the keypad of uh, our conventional phones from 0 to 9 hash and steric uh, this is another keypad which is 4 cross 4 the previous one was uh, 3 cross 4 and the, this calculator one was uh, 4 cross uh, 6 uh, with 4 cross 6 we can interface 24 pins uh, 24 push buttons okay now this last one is another keypad uh, let's let us interface this 4 cross 4 keypad once we are done with this then we can interface any keypad uh, as far as our microcontroller allows us to connect the pins of the uh, keypad uh, okay so let me select this keypad and then uh, lcd 16 cross 2 alphanumeric LCD and then obviously Arduino as well uh, we have several options uh, but let, let us select this uh, Arduino Uno which is the uh, basic one and today we will see the limitation of Arduino Uno as well okay uh, because there are a lot of pins uh, of this keypad and and LCD also requires uh, a lot of microcontroller pins in order to um, get interfaced. Okay, now let us uh, start doing the connections. Let me connect register select with pin number 13 and enable with pin number 12. now ground with read write d4 with 11 d5 with 10 d6 with 9 d7 with pin number 8 of arduino digital pin number 8 of arduino okay now these are the four rows a b c d let me connect it sequentially a with pin number 7 b with pin number 6 c with pin number 5 and d with 
pin number 4 now these 1 2 3 4 are the columns 1 to be connected with 3 or 2 with 2 3 with 1 4 with 0 okay so we are done with the connections of lcd and keypad you guys must have noticed that there are uh, 14 digital input output pins of this arduino uno and where and we have utilized all of them uh, now do we have any other option if we need to interface some sensor or actuator along with this keypad and lcd do we have um, something uh, in the options yes we do have uh, let me write arduino and uh, grab this uh, mega uh, Arduino Mega uh, in, in, in the schematic okay uh, so this is Arduino Mega it is a gigantic one uh, it has a lot of digital input output pins you can see on the right side as well there are a lot of analog pins as well in the upcoming lab I'll be teaching you how to interface analog sensors that is very easy in Arduino uh, and extremely difficult if we do its programming in assembly language okay so this is Arduino Mega if we have uh, something other than this LCD and keypad we can make use of this Arduino Mega as well okay it, it uh, requires a lot of um, schematic space as well okay uh, so let us start the uh, programming of these two uh, based on the schematic we just made uh, let me launch Arduino uh, IDE and save this uh, schematic okay this this always require a folder okay so let me name this sketch as well keypad okay so before we start our programming we need to see whether we have a library for keypad or not if we don't have uh, the library then we need to code for each and everything okay uh, then we need to interface this keypad uh, in a way that uh, e this each button is actually a push button and if you guys have noticed there are actually 16 buttons in this keypad uh, but we have uh, connected 8 pins with the Arduino if, uh, if we don't use the concept of uh, masking and scanning that is used in the uh, keypad library then we have to uh, connect this keypad with 16 Arduino pins and in Arduino Uno you have seen that we just have 14 input output pins and then we have to skip this um, even if we have 16 Arduino uh, pins input output pins in the Arduino then we have to skip this LCD so, so this uh, technique of masking and uh, scanning is very important in order to uh, save the uh, pins of the microcontroller okay uh, okay fine uh, let us uh, search uh, the uh, library for keypad I have already downloaded that how you can uh, search the library go to the sketch include library and manage libraries okay now once this library manager is uh, uploaded uh, you can search the library for keypad when you search it you will find several libraries on the keypad and you need to study that library whether that suits you or not for example if I assume that uh, this is the library for uh, interfacing this keypad okay if I just assume that then 
uh, and I don't read its uh, title or the description properly, then uh, uh, this this keypad will not work. Uh, I need to see the functions. I need to read the docu documentation of that library first before I interface, uh, before I use that library or before I use the functions of that library. Now this is installed, but this is something else. For example, this is made for some specific LCD uh, based keypad or keypad based LCD. Let me search uh, and uh, show it to you. For example, LCD keypad shield Arduino. If I go to the images, this is the one uh, which uh, this is the LCD which has a built-in keypad in the in the printed circuit board. Okay, if if you press these keys, uh, these push buttons, these black ones at the bottom then what you can do is that uh, you can scroll the data that is uh, displayed on the LCD you can scroll it you can uh, move it towards right you can move it towards left you can reset the LCD so you can do a lot of stuff uh, by uh, buying this uh, LCD keypad shield and by downloading this library now the one uh, we will be using is this one made by Mark Stanley and Alexander Breivik. This uh, is the one uh, which uh, suits us in this scenario. With this we can uh, interface this keypad. Okay. Uh, so you need to download this library or you need to you just install it you will find the button over here which will say install uh, and you can install it. I can, uh, I can updo, uh, update this uh, library as well which is pre-installed in my Arduino IDE. Okay. Uh, one more thing I would like to teach you is that if you just search keypad library and Arduino as well. Okay. You will you can find the zip file of that library go to this page and download you can over here you can see that you can uh, find the where is it gone let me uh, reset it I, I was trying to zoom it okay so this is the keypad dot zip you just download it and uh, go to sketch and include library and over here add dot zip library library if you give the path of that dot, uh, dot zip uh, folder if you give it the path uh, then your uh, library will be installed so this is the manual way of uh, downloading the library okay now once we are done with uh, downloading the library in our ide of arduino we can start programming First of all, let's do uh, the work that we did previously. Uh, for example, let me call the library for uh, liquid crystal and another library we need is the library for keypad dot h. <coughs> Okay, now once uh, we are done with uh, calling these uh, libraries, let's do uh, the setting for our LCD. We have already done this uh, in our last lab. Uh, for that, I need to see the pins first okay starting from register select and going towards right we made use of 13 12 11 10 9 and 8 okay so i can write this straight and straight away 13 12 11 10 9 and 8 okay uh, before i proceed further I would like to show you something else 
which is Arduino LCD, uh, sorry, Liquid Crystal Library. If you go to this and the documentation of this library, which is very important to learn, and go to Liquid Crystal function that we have just used, you will find out how to, uh, what is the syntax of this function. Okay. The first one is the register select, second one is enable and then other four uh, uh, lines for the transferring of data. If you would like to make use of read write, then it comes here, okay, read write at the second spot of this function. Okay. Now if you would like to, if you have plenty of pens, I guess there is no use of uh, uh, it is just a waste of pins. If you would like to make use of all the eight uh, pins uh, in order to write the data on the LCD, then you need to use, then you have to use this syntax. And if it includes read write as well, then you can make use of this syntax. So there is actually no use of um, uh, using these two uh, syntax. Uh, these uh, the first two should be enough one is without read write and second one is with read write so uh, by this i meant that uh, reading of these functions and reading of reading the documentation of these functions and libraries is very important okay now once we are done with this then we need to write the function which will uh, which is made for the keypad for example uh, let's write keypad and an object and its object kpd and the main function that will uh, make our life easy to interface this keypad is the first one is key map at this spot we need to define the keys okay uh, for example all these keys 7 8 9 divide 4 5 6 etc we need to define the keys at this location what i am doing is i will just write down this uh, variable keys and i will define it somewhere outside since this is a matrix so it would be easy for me to define it somewhere outside okay now the next spot is uh, for the row pins uh, the third spot is for column pins the fourth one is for rows and the fifth one is for columns okay so i will explain this uh, in a while let me okay this should be fine now we need to define all these this one second one third one fourth and fifth first of all let us uh, make a variable with the name keys uh, so that it defines all of these 16 pins or 16 push buttons okay so for example um, let me write keys which is the name of the variable uh, what will be the matrix which is the matrix will be in our case 4 cross 4 and then we can define that matrix okay uh, open now over here we will define the matrix of the keys first of all in the first row we have seven eight or or we can uh, yeah Let's uh, give it the same names, 7, 8, 9 and divide, okay? So for example, the first character is 7, 
second character is eight let me connect the uh, charger okay because the battery is low okay seven eight or let me just copy paste this seven eight nine and divide so this is our first row okay we are uh, defining our matrix let me copy paste this for the second row which is I guess seven eight nine uh, and let me see four five six four five six and then this should be multiply then we have one two three and minus one two three and minus this is our last row uh, which is let's call it C zero equal and plus C for the reset of the keypad C zero equal and plus equal and plus okay now this is the uh, keys we have defined and we need to uh, obviously we need to define how many rows and columns are there okay so let me write uh, rows over here and columns so we are making it general so that if we have a three cross four matrix so we will just write three and four in the function okay so that is how we usually try to code so that our code is general and we can uh, change it uh, if you if we would like to change it we can do that easily okay so what is the uh, what will be the data type of um, these uh, uh, keys obviously that is character so I hope uh, we have coded this uh, properly and let me verify this before before I proceed okay so there is some uh, yeah yeah the code won't work because we have not defined uh, these row pins and column pins and obviously we have not defined rows and columns as well okay so we need to define it first uh, okay so for for these rows and columns this should be easy because this uh, we can give it a, uh, a data type of uh, byte uh, rows which is 4 okay uh, let's make it constant because this won't change later on copy paste and same goes for columns c o l s is for columns now row pins and column pins is left for row pins uh, let us define our rows uh, four will come from here uh, our row pins are four uh, row pins bracket rows which uh, will be an array this is this is a matrix this is a matrix but this is an array okay so rows which are seven six five 
एंड फोर सेवन एज यू कैन सी सेवन सिक्स फाइव एंड फोर सो यू हैव वी हैव कनेक्टेड अवर रोज विद सेवन सिक्स फाइव एंड फोर ओके नाउ वट विल बी द डेटा टाइप ऑफ दिस लेट्स मेक इट बाइट नाउ वी ऑल्सो नीड टू डिफाइन इट फॉर कॉलम पिंस विच इज Yes, it is C O L, and column pins are connected with three, two, one, and zero. Now, I hope we have uh, defined uh, all of these uh, keys. Is there? Yes. Row pins is there. Column pins is there. rows is there and columns is there let me verify this and see whether there is a syntax error or not okay good so there is no syntax error so once uh, we are done with this now we will move towards uh, our setup okay uh let me erase this one one smarter way of uh, uh one very smart way of uh, uh of defining these pins whether these are output or input is that we can create a loop for example if we create a loop for let's suppose these seven pins and we would like to make this these seven pins output for example this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 if we would like to make all these um if we want to make all these output what we can do is that we can create a loop which uh, starts from 8 this starts from 8 pin number 8 okay and it will go till थर्टीन एंड के प्लस प्लस विद वन इंक्रीमेंट ओके एंड इन द पिन मोड वी कैन डिफाइन के एज आउटपुट के कॉमा आउटपुट सो फर्स्ट इन द फर्स्ट लूप देर विल बी एट ओवर हेयर एंड पिन मोड विल मेक इट आउटपुट and then 9 pin mode will make it output and then 10 pin mode will make it output and it will go till 13 okay so there is a semicolon missing here and in even uh, and in the setup we also define uh, we also initialize our lcd which is very easy lcd dot begin and our lcd is 16 comma 2 okay so we are done with uh, everything that is re related to lcd now comes the key part we just need to call a function that will read the key and it will save that uh, the value of that key or the character of that key in some variable okay uh, so for example let us uh make a uh variable wh whose data type is character and by making uh, by, by using uh, kpd we will call a function uh get key okay this will read the key and it will store the data in the in this variable which is key okay then we need to have a condition whether the key has been pressed or not okay for that i will write if key is not equal to no key which is the built in function okay of the built in function of the library so its color has changed as you can see 
if key is not equal to no key uh, this means that the key has been pressed then what you do is that you just print that key lcd print and in this lcd dot print uh, we have written just key because key is already a character okay key is already already a character for example a 3 5 or it depends upon how we have defined our keys over here okay so it what it will do is that it will just uh, print the value of the key on the lcd okay so let me we are done with the uh, coding of uh, keypad and lcd let me verify this code there is uh, some error over here uh, for let me let me read it what that error is okay so one closing a bracket is missing here i guess let me try uh, no this is for the void setup and this one is for the void setup we need to figure out this is uh, the opening bracket for the void setup and this is the okay yeah there is something wrong this is the closing bracket for the void setup okay and this is the opening bracket for the for loop and this should be the closing bracket for the for loop now let us verify it again okay this says that expected a semicolon or bracket before this for loop mm, void setup the opening uh, bracket of uh, void setup and then the opening bracket for for loop and then there is a semicolon there is no need of semicolon over here uh, for this for loop uh, and then there is a semicolon over here as well and then the a closing bracket of uh, this for loop and then comes the lcd dot begin and then the closing bracket of this this should be this should be fine let me try to verify it again okay uh, let me pause the video and and see uh, what is wrong with this okay so uh, there is nothing wrong with these brackets there is an opening bracket for the setup a closing bracket for the setup an opening bracket for the for loop and a closing bracket for the for loop the pro problem lies over here uh, a semicolon uh, comes uh, here okay I had put a comma now when I uh, simulate when I uh, compiled it after putting the semicolon so it is working fine now the next thing I would like to do is that find out the hex file which is here okay in this folder hex files keypad.ino.hex ino is actually the extension of the sketches that we use in uh, our Arduino IDE okay so let us uh, call that hex file and see whether our keypad is working or not uh, here we go and let me play this uh, we can write something uh, in the start as well for example welcome to keypad interfacing something like this so let me press the key uh, if i press 8 it is coming over here over here 
if I press 9, 9 is coming and then divide, multiply, minus, it, it all depends upon, <laughs> excuse me, it all depends upon our coding. For example, I remember once uh, what I had done is I had written uh, A, B, C, D, E and F. So this uh, covers all the uh, um, all uh, dot hex, uh, the the uh, alf the alphabets and numerics for the uh, hex conversion, which is from zero to nine and A to E. So after uh, verifying it. If I simulate this again, 5, B, A, C, D, E, and F. So it all depends upon our coding. It obviously doesn't depend upon what is written on this keyboard, uh, keypad. Okay, so I hope uh, that was useful. Uh, by making, uh, by interfacing this uh, keypad, uh, you uh, guys must have uh, learned a lot how this uh, scanning is done though uh, I have not um, taught you how that scanning is done uh, basically if I uh, show you a diagram and I try to explain it to you uh, in a short way uh, keypad uh, based on push buttons something like that let me find an image and try to explain it to you. Oh, okay, here, here you go. If you have a look at this, uh, if you have a look at this uh, keypad uh, based on these push buttons. So what it actually does is that it first of all the scanning process or the masking process. It first of all uh, detects which push button is pressed. For example, uh, this uh, top left uh, push button is pressed, top left, the first one. It, the, the scanning detects in which row the key is pressed. It tells you uh, the key is pressed in row number 0. Okay, fine. So what it does is that it just skips row number 1, row number 2 and row number 3 because there is some voltage level, a different voltage level in row 0. In the next step, what it does is that it scans the columns. When it scans the columns, it finds out there is something wrong with column 0. There is some voltage change in column 0. That is how it identifies that uh, by using the interception, there, is some, there was some change in row 0 and then there was some change in column 0 this means that the only push button left is the top left one the first one okay so that is the process of uh, scanning and uh, masking okay so by making use of that concept we can enter we can uh, save a lot of pins uh, i hope uh, this lab was useful uh, i will I obviously need suggestions from you how to uh, uh, improve these labs and I also need suggestions uh, from you uh, uh, to how to uh, which which labs I I should uh, uh, introduce next okay if you want me to uh, teach some uh, a different lab for example based on bluetooth or ethernet or uh, something based on internet of things so please uh, uh, put an email or uh, and uh, inform me so that i can uh, prepare that lab and uh, conduct it for you okay thank you